guys, so I wanted to make a video on all the different types of lines, vascular accesses in patients that um, nurses deal with, or maybe you may not deal with it if you are in a different uh, unit or whatnot. But I know in the ICU we deal with a lot of different lines, and you know some lines the nurses are more involved in and some they're not. So this is gonna be a brief overview and it's gonna be on what I know. I'm sure there are a lot of other lines, um, but I'm gonna do like the general ones that I see most frequently, especially working in the ICU. So your most common that you'll see everywhere in the hospital is an IV, a peripheral inserted IV. This is inserted into a vein, this is inserted by a nurse. Sometimes it may be inserted by a line team or uh, sometimes, I guess, when I worked in a small hospital, sometimes the doctors actually ended up doing them. Uh, but most of the time, a nurse inserts this line, and it's just a peripheral IV. So what I mean is it's only going in a little bit into your body. It is not traveling up down into your heart. Um, it's not a central line, meaning it's not in the central area of you. It is peripheral, in your periphery. Um, so these lines can be used to get fluids, can be used to get medications. You don't draw blood off of IVs, maybe the first time when you insert it, but typically you never draw blood off of IVs. Uh, very, very rarely have I seen that. With IV lines, sometimes you'll also see midlines or power glides. These basically are essentially the same thing, it just has a longer IV um, catheter so and usually they'll go in your upper arm here and it's basically the same thing as an IV you use it the same way as an IV it's usually ultrasound guided and it just goes in a little bit further usually lasts a little bit longer and I've heard them called midlines or power glides uh, but both mean the same thing so the next line this one is very common in the ICU I doubt you will see this really anywhere else maybe a step down unit Ivy do you mind she has a ball in her mouth here you go So the next line is an A-line or arterial line. This is typically most commonly seen inserted into your radial artery, but sometimes it'll be in your femoral artery. And this line is a wonderful line because it measures a real-time blood pressure. So you'll see up on your monitor a real-time blood pressure with the A-line. You can draw blood off of this line. You cannot inject medications through an A-line. There's special tubing, it's very hard, and you will learn in nursing school, do not ever inject line medications into your arterial system. That is a no-no. So now we're gonna get into our central lines. So there are a bunch of different ways to insert a central line and they basically all do the same thing. So the first one that I see that's pretty, that's probably more common on other floors as well as the ICU is your PICC line, your peripheral inserted central catheter. And this is a line, it's usually inserted in your upper arm here, either on either side, and there is a line that goes all the way up and it lands in your superior vena cava in your heart. And you can draw blood off this line, you can insert medications in this line, usually they have two or three lumens, uh, meaning like little uh, lines that come off so you can hook up fluids to one, you can hook up antibiotic to another, you can hook up, you can hook up a bunch of different things. And what's nice is you can, if you have meds that are incompatible, you can run them through the same pick line, just not the same tubing. So they can't mix in the tubing, but once they go into the different lumens, then it's okay to give those medications. There's also um, IJs is what we call them, or internal jugular. These are also central lines and they will go in your jugular and go down and land in your superior vena cava. Another line that I see, and this is, pro this is definitely, I'm assuming mostly an ICU thing, is an HD catheter or hemodialysis catheter. It's a temporary central line catheter inserted in usually in your jugular and it goes down and it is used for dialysis temporarily like if a patient's in acute renal failure before they if it's a more chronic thing then they'll get a, a fistula actually placed for dialysis but this is a temporary dialysis catheter and I've seen that and usually it has a line where you also can inject medications and those things as well. Another line that you'll see occasionally and this is usually for your chemotherapy cancer patients is a port and this is a little vascular access device. It is usually on, I've seen it um, mostly on uh, I want to say the right chest. I'm not sure if it can be on both sides don't quote me on that. I haven't done a lot with ports, but it's you'll actually feel it. It's like a little hard uh, 
almost rubbery little thing in there and you actually can insert a needle through it and it's connected so you can do blood draws and stuff like that. All central lines you can give medications through, you can draw blood off of them. Unlike IVs, you cannot draw blood off of IVs. And the only line that nurses put in is the IV. All other lines you have to be specially trained or they have a line team or physicians or anesthesiologists do it. So at the hospital I'm at, actually we have respiratory therapists that are trained just to do arterial lines, PIC lines, um, IJs and those hemodialysis catheters and they do all of those lines. Unless you're specially trained, <laughs> IV do mine. Unless you're specially trained as a nurse, you will not insert these lines just because you felt like inserting a line you don't do that <laughs> so this is a brief little overview on lines i hope it kind of gives you guys just a general idea i'm sure there's more of them out there and you know more specialized areas and things like that but those are the basic ones that you will see working in a hospital setting or if you are working as an icu nurse you'll definitely see a lot of these thank you guys for watching this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time bye